Today, we will focus on the instability mechanism. It's something that's unique to the Pro and it requires a lot of material and a lot of work to make this possible. When you get your bio rower out of the crate, it will be said to be stable. However, there are two main stages to put it in stable. You can make it semi-stable with the use of springs. You can have a bit of side support, although there is actually room to travel to the left and right. Or you can remove the springs, which will feel like a Rodeo ride, but it's a very good practice. In the rear section of your Viro Pro, there's a system with springs and bolts and nuts. Use a wrench and flathead screwdriver and counter rotations have equal amount of rotations on both sides, left and right. This moves the bolt out and therefore gives you more room to play. Now the biro is said to be instable, but not fully instable, as the springs still provide a decent amount of support. You can also remove the springs completely, which is recommended for very experienced rowers when they do sculling. For speed rowing, we always recommend to keep the springs in. Rotate the bolts out a little more on both sides so you have enough room to take the springs out. And now it will be very unstable. You see, we gently tip the bio rower and it just doesn't stop moving. We always recommend to keep the bolts in, otherwise your riggers will touch the floor and this may cause damage either to the floor or to the bio rower. 